This is an overview of the list marquee widget for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the list marquee widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it's a list of items that scrolls as a marquee horizontally. The first setting in the general settings is for speed. So if you want the marquee to be slower, you can may increase this number, for example, from 30 to 60, and now it will be two times slower. Each list item has an icon. So if we want, we can turn off the icons and leave only the list. I'm going to turn them back on. Over here, we have an option also for pause on hover. As you can see, when I hover with my mouse, the marquee pauses. If we don't want it to pause on hover, we can turn this option off. And now when I'm hovering over the items, they do not pause. Inside of items, we can manage our items. We can delete items if we want to. We can add new items. So each item has a title, a icon, and a link. You can also reorder items by drag and drop as you usually do in Elementor. And I'm going to call this item a star. Also items can be not just icons from the icon library, but you can up upload SVG. So I'm gonna click upload SVG and I actually predefined uploaded this flag icon. So I'm gonna upload that and look how awesome that is. Let's jump into style and see what options we have over here. So first of all, we have an option for marquee background. We can add a background to our marquee and that looks awesome. We can add a border if we want to, and we can jump into the rest of the settings. So that's in marquee item. Over here in marquee item, each item has a margin. That's why they're not connected. So that's a 20 pixel margin that's coming from 10 pixels each item. So right here, the margins intersect from the left item and the right item. We can take this down all the way. And now you can see that they're one close to each other. Marquee item color is for the text color. So for example, you can change the text color. If you're using an icon from the icon library that will affect the icon as well. Background color for each item. So you can see you can play around with the items. Right now they're intersecting. Let's push up the margin again so they're not close to each other. Looking good. Icon size, we can make the icon bigger if you want to. And we can also play around with the typography, of course. Over here in marquee item typography, if I want, I can make the text bigger or smaller, however I want. And marquee item padding is for the padding around the background inside of each item. So let's just push that so you can see how that affects everything. And we have an option for icon spacing. If the icon is on, we can space the icon from the text just so it's no, not that close. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.